Right, we're looking at Pythagoras and trigonometry in 3D. So, um, got a question here with three different parts. Um, hopefully, covers pretty much everything. Got a cuboid here. Um, to be honest, you'll normally have prisms. So, we've got this here. Now, first of all, it says find length AC. Now, that is this length here. Now, that's actually quite difficult to see unless you're experienced. Can't really teach experience. It's just trying these. But if I do A, B, C here, okay, that would be 5, um, and that would be 12 there. So we stick that, we use Pythagoras, we've got two sides of a right angle triangle, we're finding the third side, 5 squared, and we're finding the hypotenuse, so it's add, all right, and I know that one is 13. Now, they'll lead you through in a sort of order here, okay, so we're going to be basically led through to, to each different answer. If I do the next one in colour, it says then find length AG. So we're going up here, there. Now, that length, I've just worked out this length here, which is 13, and I have another right angle triangle now, where that's 13, that's A, sorry, that's G, and that is C. And we're told that the height of our cuboid is 3. So once again, I'm going to be using um, Pythagoras. And again, I'm finding the hypotenuse, finding long side. So there we go. Now, <coughs> you can, uh, when you stick this in your calculator, you're going to get um, something like, well, 13 squared, I know is 169. 3 squared, I know is 9. So it's going to be 178 now. It will say what to round to. It's usually one decimal place or three significant figures. So I'm just going to do 178 square root of that, which is 13.3 centimetres. Now, that's three, I said 13.3, I'm right, 13.4. It's 13.34 centimetres. So, so I said 13.3 centimetres. There we go. Now, the last bit, we're literally asked to find this angle here. Now, I actually have all the sides on that right angle triangle, but I'm going to use um, <coughs> the two whole numbers purely because it's going to make it um, easier to see. So even though I've got, this is, what is it, A, uh, G, and C, that's 3, that's 13, and that's 13.34, bloody bloody blah, it carries on forever. So I'm finding this angle here, theta I'm going to call that. Now that would be tan. I'm going to use, you can use any of them because you've got all three, but I want to use the ones that are going to give me the most accurate answer, opposite over adjacent, so theta equals tan, inverse tan, or tan to the minus one, whichever you want to call it, theta equals tan to the minus one of three, oops, of, of three thirteenths, hold on a second, and that's what I'm going to put into my calculator, all right, so shift, Tan, make sure you're in degrees um, in case you've been working in uh, anything else or hit the wrong button or something like that. And that's 13.0 degrees, it's 12.99 actually. And that looks about right, that would seem about sensible. So just be a little bit careful. The question will obviously lead, uh, generally lead you through, so it, it will sort of lead you in nice steps. So a previous answer you'll have to use on the next, um, to find the next answer, etc, etc. Now, don't worry about losing marks more than once. If you get the answer wrong the first bit, you won't lose all the other marks necessarily straight away. Um, you can use what answer you got, so don't panic too much about that.